Welcome to Master Mathematics in Minutes. Today's topic is about angles in a semicircle, and we will cover a couple of examples on how to calculate angles in a semicircle, and we will conclude the topic with a summary. And finally, be kind and subscribe for more videos. So, what are angles in a semicircle? Consider a semicircle with diameter PQ. The angles R and S are right angles, or they're 90 degrees. So when you have a semicircle with diameter PQ, and if you were to extend two lines that meet at the circumference of the semicircle, that angle will always be 90 degrees, regardless of where you draw that vertex. We'll have a look at a couple of examples to visualize this. In the first example, we're given the diameter of the semicircle is PQ. And we're asked to calculate the angle Q. Because we have a semicircle with diameter PQ, and we've extended these two lines that meet the circumference, that angle is a right angle, or 90 degrees. And we'll label that as angle R. So if R is equals to 90 degrees, and notice that this is a triangle, and we're able to calculate angle Q. So the total angle in the triangle is 180 degrees. And if we were to subtract R and 30, we will be able to obtain angle Q. And so with 180 degrees, we'll substitute R as 90 degrees from above, that's 90, and minus 30, we'll carry that across as well. And that simplifies to Q is equal to 60 degrees. In the second example, we're given the center of the circle is O, and we're asked to calculate angle X. So we know that this is a diameter that separates the circle into a semicircle. And because we've extended this line and this line that meets at the circumference, that angle is a right angle, or 90 degrees, and we will label that as A. And so, if we're able to find this angle, we'll call that B, we will be able to calculate angle X, because it makes up a triangle. So, the solution is, with A is equal to 90 degrees, because we have two lines that meet at the circumference of a semicircle, and we have angle B as an angle on a straight line. And the total angle on the straight line is 180 degrees. And we'll subtract 125 degrees, which is that angle there. And that gives us 55 degrees. So we now have A and B in this triangle. We're able to calculate angle X. So angle X is 180 degrees, because that's the total angle in the triangle. And we will subtract A and B. We'll copy the 180 degree across, A is 90 from above, and B is 55 from above. So we'll subtract 90 and subtract 55, and that gives us X is equal to 35 degrees. In a third example, we're given the center of the circle is O, and we're asked to calculate angle X. And once again, we have a diameter that separates the circle into semicircle and with two lines that, when extended, meets at the circumference. And so that is a right angle, or 90 degrees. And so if we're able to calculate this angle, which we'll call that Y, we will be able to find angle X, because the sum of the angles in the triangle is 180 degrees. So we know that A is 90 degrees from before, and notice that these two lines are parallel lines, and we have a Z or Z shaped that make up the alternate angles. So we have Y as equals to 36 degrees from the alternate angles. And with A, and we also have Y, we're able to solve for X now. So X is equals to 180 degrees, the total angles in the triangle, minus A and minus Y. So copy the 180 degrees across, 
A is 90 degrees from above, and Y is 36 from above. And that simplifies to X is equals to 54 degrees. In the fourth example, we're given the center of the circle is O, and we're asked to calculate the angle X. And once again, we have a diameter that separates the circle into a semicircle. And we've extended this line and this line that meets at its circumference. And so that is a right angle, which we'll label as A, or 90 degrees. And notice that this line and this line are parallel lines. And so if we're able to find this angle here, which we'll call that Y, we will be able to find X, because X plus Y sums to 180 degrees, as these are co-interior angles that make up a C-shape. So that line, that line, and that line makes up the C-shape. So notice that we have a triangle, and we know A, which is 90 degrees, and we know 33 degrees, that allows us to solve for Y. And so we have A as 90 degrees from before, and we have Y, which is 180 degrees, minus A, and minus 33 degrees, because it's a remaining angle in this triangle here. And triangles have a total angle of 180 degrees. So carry that across 180 degrees, and A is 90, we will replace that with 90, and we'll carry the minus 33 across. And so with Y is equals to 57 degrees. So we have X plus Y as being equals to 180 degrees from the co angle. So X is equals to 180 degrees minus Y. We'll copy the 180 degree cross and Y is 57 from above and X is equals to 123 degrees. To summarize, consider a semicircle with diameter PQ. Angles R and S are right angles or 90 degrees. So when we have a diameter that separates a circle into a semicircle, and if we were to extend these two lines that meet at any point on the circumference, that angle is always a right angle or 90 degrees. Thank you very much for watching. This is Master Mathematics in Minutes.